Okay, so let's take a look at customization mode. If your Sigma lens offers customization modes, you can access the customization mode here at this switch. It offers two complete sets of custom settings at C1 or C2, or you can turn the custom mode off here. Please keep in mind that not all Sigma lenses offer this functionality. If this functionality is not available on your lens, Sigma Optimization Pro will not let you access that page. So it's easy to tell what's going on. For each of the buttons, C1 and C2, you can customize the autofocus speed settings, the focus limiter settings, and the optical stabilization settings. Let's look how we customize the autofocus speed settings. I'd like to customize C1 for settings which are perfect for photographing nature. For example, birds flapping their wings and ready to take off. If I use the motor drive speed priority in this setting, I know that I can always switch to C1 and be ready to catch those kind of amazing shots. To make this change, click on Customization on the home screen, then Customization Mode Settings. From there, click on C1. At the C1 screen, select Autofocus Speed Settings. Imagine the situation in which you'll be using this setting and select Motor Drive Speed Priority, Standard, or Focus Accuracy Priority. So, I'm selecting Motor Speed Drive Priority. With this setting, autofocus is very quick to spring into action and I get the subject in focus. On the other hand, selecting focus accuracy priority makes autofocus motor drive smoother. So, I've selected motor drive speed priority and now I click on OK. This takes me back to the previous screen and I click on rewriting and agree. Now, I just wait for the rewriting to complete. Press close, and it's done. And now, focus accuracy priority is the autofocus speed setting for the C1 button. So far, I've only talked about adjusting the autofocus speed in the custom mode settings. But it's also possible to adjust the focus limiter settings and the optical stabilization settings for both the C1 and the C2 buttons. Try and think about the situations that will happen when you're shooting and create settings that best match your particular style.